There's a specific variation on the return of serve, which is relatively simple. It doesn't involve any of the complicated footwork that you saw in the previous videos. And I'm going to demonstrate this motion behind me. I'm returning Andre's serve. And what I do is I still step in when I begin the motion, but then I hit my split step and I'm just going to use from this point normal ground stroke footwork to get myself set and take the racket back a little bit further and then just hit a normal ground stroke. Probably try and hit the ball harder because what you're going to notice here is that I'm standing further back and that gives me more time to prepare and return the tennis ball. And this is a good technique to use if you're either having trouble with moving diagonally, cutting the ball off and shortening it up, shortening up your backswing, or if your opponent has a really big serve. Then you need to move back and give yourself a little bit more time. And you'll see this technique used a lot on the Pro Tour. Somebody like Agassi like to stand up at the baseline, cut the ball off, shorten the backswing, etc. But somebody like Leighton Hewitt will stand further back, again, like I'm doing here. And what this allows you to do is hit with an open stance a lot of the time. So it'll allow you to hit a normal ground stroke because you can rotate your shoulders more than you otherwise would be able to. So it's important to master this technique which is pretty similar to a normal ground stroke as well as the technique we taught in the previous videos because it will give you some versatility in terms of how you want to return serve.